What's up, Kerbal Knots? This is Noel on PC, and today I'm going to play some more KSP. Thought I'd build some shit, and it turned out shitty. It is a Concord, I think. I tried my best to model it after, you know, my memory of the Concord. Supersonic airliner, and I think I did pretty good. I think I did pretty good. I am like 90% sure it's not going to fly. So let's uh, let's crash this fucker. I have a feeling it'll fly. I have a feeling it's not going to be stable under flight. Like if I try and like turn, it'll just nose down and plummet into the ocean. I think it'll fly in a straight line really well. So let's uh, let's see. Let's let us see, shall we? Oh, the brakes are strong. Kind of expected it to roll forward. Beauty. There we go. Because of all the various surfaces, it should lift off the ground pretty quick. Oh. Weird. Front wheel stayed. Back wheels are off the ground. Huh. That's a new one. Look how fucking fast it's going. It's hauling ass all on that front wheel. Okay, okay, easy, easy. It started warbling a bit, so let's... Oh, just like I said. Whoa, okay. Let's turn SAS on. Okay, yep. Wow. <laughs> she's tweaky. <laughs> uh, she's tweaky like a method. The Ponsataki Concord. Alright, it's fast. It's really fast. But is she stable? Let's see. Oh, yeah, it does actually kind of fly, because all the weight's at the back, yet there's a lot of control surface in the middle. That, I, that ooh, okay, nose down a bit. Yeah, it, it is giving me a semblance of control. It's pretending like I have control. Let's see, how's everybody doing inside? You doing good? You doing good? Not doing good. Not doing good. That Bill, man. That Bill. I should probably just stop taking him on these trips. He never does well. All right, so this is a test flight. This is just a, hey, look what I built kind of video. So we are just gonna circle around. We're gonna try and put it down. We're gonna try and put it down. Keywords, keywords. Try and putting it down. I didn't say anything about landing. As long as, as, long as they survive. <laughs> That's how I classify a successful mission. If no one dies, I'm not worried about the crafts, I'm not worried about the R&D dollars wasted, I'm not worried about all this materials cost and infrastructure waste. If no one dies, it's a success, a resounding success. It's already cruising altitude of about 7,500 feet, 8,000 feet, somewhere in there doing about 300 miles an hour. So it's definitely a fast craft, just like it should be. I bet you if we took it up to like, you know, 10,000 meters and just hauled ass in a straight line, it'd probably be a pretty quick little craft. Problem being is when you start getting into sort of, not supersonic speeds, but like really quick, quick, quick speeds with these crafts, with the new aerodynamic patches, they kind of turf you around a little bit, especially if you have any kind of part clipping, like like this, I've got like a part, a little bit in a part. The game fucking hates that now with the aerodynamics, to a point of almost being kind of buggy. You'd think that would not play any factor, but it'll randomly pull left or right, depending on if you have a part clipped somewhere in the in the craft. All right, we're gonna throttle back, start shedding some altitude as we come around. Coming about, Captain. Put the landing gear down, that'll actually act as a little bit of an air brake. Throttling way back now. We just need a little bit of gimbling, we don't need a lot of power. Oh god, she's tweaky. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, are you gonna fucking turn right, you cunt? You fucking bitch. You fucking bitch. So A and D do nothing. 
basically. See, like, if I push A as hard as I can, it's not doing anything. It's turning the craft, but it's not actually altering that path trajectory. So I'm stuck with Q and E to do my turning, and, you know, a bit of S to actually get the turn to start coming about. Yeah, this is going to be... It's going to be tricky. Should going to be tricky. Alright. Come on, bugger. Come on, Concord. Curb cord? It's like Concord with a K? Alright, alright. Easy, easy. Let's get the air brakes up. Alright, things are looking good. I'm in a nice line. I'm in a nice line. Oh, fucking keep the goddamn landing gear down. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, please get the wheels on the ground. Please get the wheels on the ground. Please get the wheels on the ground. No hop, no hop, no hop, no hop, no hop. I think there's a video of a Concorde quite literally doing that. <laughs> uh, okay, so are we down? Are we down? Holy shit, we did it, guys. Whew. Holy fuck, my pulse. My pulse right now. Whew. Wow. Wow, that is quite, my, my heart's like dunk, 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 dunk. I got a little, got a little palpitation there at the end when it started bouncing, I thought, all right, here we go. Big explosion. Yet another failed video. But no, we did it. We actually, uh, we got this thing down. So let's, just for shits and giggles, I had said it probably cruises really well. So let's quickly see what happens when you get this thing up to like, you know, 10,000 meters and put it in a nice cruising altitude. See what happens. I'd fast forward, but we all know what would happen. Well, let's see. What do we got to lose? <sighs> Nothing happened. Holy shit, it held together. I'm, I'm definitely... I'm not going to go another speed. Uh, two time is fine. Two time is fine. See, I'd like to see right around like maybe 10,000 meters. That's 30,000 feet. I think that would probably be pretty close, just as a guess. Probably pretty close to where the real Concorde would cruise at give or take, about 30,000 feet. Certainly not a pretty craft. Pretty, pretty ugly. Pretty, pretty ugly. Put a smile on your face, dude, seriously. Like, I landed, I landed, we, we survived, we had a bounce, but we survived. And now we're flying again. You should be happy. He's too stoic. All right, 6,500. The three time worked. I don't know why I decided to do that at 6,500, but she worked. Coming up on 10,000. Certainly isn't super fast. off a bit. Doesn't matter if we're in a perfect 270, as long as we're nice and flat. Okay, okay. Warble out. Get that warble out of your system. There we go. Nice and level. Relatively level. We're still gaining altitude, but you know what? There we go. How about that? Is that better? Still gaining a lot of altitude. How about that? What they really need in this game is one of these SAS buttons to be altitude hold, right? So you get up, you know, you, you watch it creep towards 10,000, and just as it starts to say 10,000 meters, click. And then the SAS does what it needs to do to keep you at 10,000, i.e., you know, lower you a little bit, raise you a little bit, just keep you in that 10,000 equilibrium. They need to do the same thing with speed, where you can hold 300 meters a second, right? And the throttle will automatically accommodate. 
So she's definitely fast. Like, she's definitely Concord fast. She's doing like six, seven hundred miles an hour already. And we've only been flying for like a few minutes. This is another thing they need to fix. Can I get it to do that again? There's a weird projected flight path sometimes. I just saw it. Right there. See? Up ahead in the clouds here? What the fuck is that? <laughs> just once in a while, it'll show you your jet exhaust before you get there. You know what I mean? It's really weird. It's really weird. They gotta fix that. There it is again. See? What the fuck is that? It's not contrail. It's not cloud. It's just like an atmospheric expression of the direction I'm traveling. Very weird. It's like time travel. Alright, trying to hold 12,000-ish. Probably as close as I'll get, actually. Alright, so we're doing about 1,200, 1,300. That's, uh... Pretty fucking fast. Actually, we might very well be going over 14. I'm not 100% sure on the math when I convert meters to second to uh, miles an hour. I just double it, roughly. And I know that that is kind of the rule of thumb. Generally. Oh, man. He is freaking out. Dude, dude. Bring it down a notch. Calm down. Seriously. Relaxy taxi. Relaxy cab. All right, we're still climbing. Still climbing towards 800. This is a very, very fast plane for, for its size. I mean, this thing weighs like 15 tons or something, or 20 tons. Like, it is a big, long monster with a lot of winglets and a lot of crap on it. Just unnecessary weight to get it to be the proportionate size, to get it to be the proportionate look of a Concorde. It, it came out quite large. And yet still hauling ass. We're doing like 16, 1700 miles an hour at about 45,000 feet. That's amazing. That is amazing. Still gaining altitude like crazy. I'm shocked that this thing isn't starting to heat. Is anything starting to heat? So it looks like about 800-ish is sort of the max speed there. So guys, I hope you like the video, I hope you comment on the video, I hope you sub and fave and add to playlists and you know do all that shit you guys do as YouTubers. And I hope most of all, I hope this inspires you to want to get KSP and give it a try, build your own Concord or whatnot. So guys. Until next time, hope you like the video, hope you share it, hope you like it. Peace, love, cheers.